Hey y'all, today is Ash Wednesday. Remember that you are dust and dust you shall return. Amen. Today is the first day of Lent. For the next 40 days, us Catholics as well as Christians are renewing ourselves for the new year. Now is feeling more like the new year as opposed to new year's day eve everyone got too fucked up to even you know but you guys i am just so excited that after four years i finally get to share with you guys what really changed my life what embarked my spiritual awakening journey you know, and this honestly, this all goes to my amazing community college counselor, my dear, who gifted me this book at a very low, low, low moment of my life. I still remember the day vividly when I was in an office just crying my, my eyes out to her, not just about school, but just in life in general and just everything. And she was there just listening and she was like, like, here you go. Like, I want you to read this, Anna. I'm like, and then I saw it. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. And it's been quite a journey since then. Hasn't been easy, but it's been very much worth it for the past, you know, for years, every time for Lent, I sa- sacrifice major things that many people will not sacrifice. So, you know, for 2019, I decided to sacrifice my entire phone for not the f- just 40 days of Lent, but like leading up until May for my birthday month. I'm like, you know what? Since I just love challenging myself and know that I am capable of overcoming and over and achieving this I'm gonna do it and I did I went with no phone for a good two months yeah I turned off my phone I put it in a box and let me tell you I had never felt so at peace and aligned with myself more connected with everybody around me you know because unfortunately everyone now is just always on their phone scrolling on tiktok insta whatever and not really being in the present moment so that really humbled the fuck out of me yes i know i'll be posting like there's no tomorrow but i know my limits don't worry i i've learned a lot since then when it comes to being on the phone as for 2020 it was i dude it was such a blur that i don't quite remember 2020 nor 2021 yeah i it's literally blank for me um unfortunately i was going through major life lessons Sorry, I'm like, I don't want to cry or think about it because it was a very dark, dark moment of my life. And uh, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. Whew. Anyways, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Um, Oh my gosh, you guys, I really, I'm trying not to cry. I, I'm, <laughs> you know, when you look back at your life and have and how far you've come it's like wow like I really made it like I really overcame things I never thought I would overcome because you know it was those moments that I never felt so lost and alone and the only person that was really there for me was God himself and to feel his presence and his love I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me too. I did not. I was not planning to cry, but he has saved my life 
so many times. <laughs> and I know many people might think I'm a hypocrite because of the provocative stuff I post on social media. Look, social media ain't that real, right? I could do and say whatever I want on there. Because it's not real. It's for funsies. <laughs> it's for funsies. But when it comes to God, I don't play when it comes to God. At all. I can't. He's done so much for me. He has given me so much peace, so much love, assurance, abundance, happiness. And he has given me a million and ten second chances in life. You know, nobody's perfect. I've done so many mistakes over the years. And he um, he is so nice to me. And he's like, all right, child, because I know you mean well. I'm going to give you another opportunity. It's like, thank you, God. I swear you won't regret it. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Because it is with God, for God, through God, that anything and everything is possible. And I'm just so happy that I get to share his word, his love with y'all. And, and I'm inviting you guys that for the next 40 days to not, to not just rediscover Jesus, but to rediscover yourself and to come back to who you are, not what society wants you to be. No. This is why this book means everything to me. Like, y'all, yeah, I have like, oops, like, oh, I can't really see, but <laughs> highlights, sticky notes, many, many little things, you know. Look at that. Okay. Um, this says, Jesus says you are free. Jesus values freedom above all else. Without freedom, there is no love. Jesus set us free from selfishness and sin so we can become all God created us to be. The very best version of ourselves. Jesus says you are a child of God. You are infinity, valuable, and you are free. No one is a prisoner. <sighs> to rediscover is a beautiful thing. A good invitation fills us with joy. And I want to read to you guys, obviously, chapter one. And it's new beginnings. God loves new beginnings. God is always waiting on us. God is the ultimate new beginning. One of the things I love about our faith is that our God is a God of second chances. Like I was telling you guys, fresh starts and new beginnings. So, if you haven't, I highly recommend to start doing the serenity prayer first thing. In the morning and the last thing before you go to bed. So that you can sleep peacefully. And in the morning you say the prayer again. And whatever happens, happens. But you already set the intention with the ser serenity prayer. And for those who don't know it, let me read it to you guys. God Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom to know the difference. And then another prayer is, Jesus, help me to believe that a new beginning is possible. For it very much is. It is never too late for a fresh start. You don't need New Year's Day to new you, new me. No. Anytime, y'all. Any time of your life is... When you're ready, you're ready to become the very best version of yourself. And if right now you're feeling lost in life and out of alignment, then I'm inviting you guys again <laughs> to rediscover Jesus. You can find this at Amazon or... You could go on dynamiccatholic.com and purchase a book there. 
I know if you buy six, you only pay for the price of one, something like that. It's been a minute that I have not checked the website because I remember, look at that, 10, 10, patience. Patience, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to say much more because I'm going over the time limit. Um, again, when it comes to God, I could go all day. And in honor of being lint, you guys know me and my flowers, I had to get colored inspired lint flowers, white and purple take them in and look at that on the thing there's um oh you can't really see it but whatever there's angel number 111 new beginnings 222 meant to be and you have nothing to worry about so if you're worrying about stuff stop because again you have nothing to worry about and here is to new beginnings so, love and light to every single one of y'all. Again, I'm... <laughs> look at that, 11-11. I've been wrapping up this video. Again, for the next 40 days, I will be making lots of videos about this book. And, you know, holiness is possible for you. It's the last thing I'm going to say. And I hope you guys tag along on this beautiful journey of rediscovering not just Jesus but yourself with love and light always always me